Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to highlight max and mean data points in our chart, right? So let's move to Excel uh, window and see how can we highlight uh, those data points. So here you can see that I have created a line chart and so we will be using line chart to highlight the max and minimum data points and rest of uh, data will uh, data point will be I know neutral so uh, will not highlight those data points which are not either maximum or minimum so in this chart you can see that you know the the maximum percentage is 100 percent right and the minimum percentage is 44 percent and both the data has been highlighted with you know call outs basically uh, down arrow and uh, up arrow call outs right and with the uh, sales uh, you know color formatting as well like maximum has been highlighted with the green and the minimum has been highlighted with the red right and this is our data uh, data basically sales per, uh, percentage data basis on month and month right so it's data from jan to december and uh, for you know uh, uh, to uh, prepare this chart uh, i have considered some dummy data and i have utilized uh, rand between function you can see that it's a rand between function right uh, so based on rand between function i am generate uh, like this function is generating random value for each and every month and on that uh, we are creating this chart so let's uh, press f9 so that uh, you know this formula will get updated and the value will get changed and we will see whether the maximum data is highlighting with green or uh, minimum data is highlighting with red or not right so i'm pressing f9 here right so as i pressed f9 so entire value is getting changed over here right it has been changed okay so you can see that again uh, uh, like in october the sales percent, uh, percentage was 100 percent and december the sales percentage was you know 51 percent and both the data point has been highlighted with the respective color that is green for you know maximum and red for you know minimum and rest of the data are you know in neutral color like blue color where we have not highlighted okay so this is a very beautiful chart and this trick is very useful because see sometimes we need to uh, prepare the dashboard and you know uh, reports where we need to highlight uh, the maximum and the minimum uh, percentage of performance uh, manually right so if you will use this trick uh, then you will be able to highlight uh, those data points uh, dynamically rather than you know the, uh, and there is no uh, you know manual intervention will required whenever data will get updated uh, on the you know, back end then entire you know ch your chart will be get refreshed and uh, maximum and minimum data point will be highlighted with the respective colors as well as the call outs right so let's uh, prepare this chart uh, from scratch just uh, press ctrl n and uh, save it so i am saving it like you know um, highlight max and min min data okay and simple okay now uh, rename the sheet uh, sheet one so let's uh, give this name a chart go to view and uh, look uh, untick the grid lines okay now uh, as uh, go to move to the previous chart here so we uh, while uh, to uh, you know to draw this chart we uh, need to uh, you know create some support columns apart from the columns which are available here right the month and sales and basis on that support column we will uh, you know uh, we will uh, apply some formula so that it will uh, the chart will pick uh, the maximum minimum uh, you know uh, minimum percentage and it will uh, it will get updated automatically so let's move to the the new chart where we are creating and uh, we will uh, uh, prepare the data points including all the support columns right so first of all our column should be you know month right and then uh, sales percentage and then the third column should be max because we are utilizing max the fourth column is min and the fifth column will be at the data labels which is only for the data label right okay so uh, let's uh, give the month as jan and then fab right and select both these and you know use fill handle to fill uh, till december so now you can see that it has been jan to on december right uh, let's uh, so this is basically our table which will we will utilize uh, to create the uh, to create the our uh, chart okay so let's uh, do some formatting over here right highlight okay so this is our table right so initially we will consider on uh, some dummy data right so that we can uh, draw the chart easily and then we will you know update uh, the the data points with the valid you know formula as well as the actual value okay 
So let's uh, assume, uh, let's uh, enter 20% in each uh, here from like this one. Max should be, you know, uh, let's consider uh, uh, 45%, uh, sorry, 45% and just, uh, so I'm just uh, giving the dummy data. Don't relate with maximum, minimum or anything, right? So uh, let's in enter 70% here, okay? And uh, data level should be uh, the reference of uh, the sales percentage. So this is, again, I'm saying this is uh, all about the dummy data and there is no uh, logical, you know, there is lo logic behind max and mean header. We are just, uh, you know, creating a gap between all those lines so that we can easily uh, format the line chart and pro assign uh, the data levels, callouts, and remove the lines. It will help, right? So uh, that's uh, this one, okay? Make it center uh, aligned. Now select the data points basically from uh, A1 to uh, D30, right? So don't include the data levels, uh, E column. Basically, uh, this column will be utilized, you know, uh, to providing uh, the data levels for sales per, uh, percentage. So this will not become the uh, part of chart. This is only for, you know, the data levels, right? So just select the data levels from data range from A1 to uh, D13. Now go to insert and in chart group, yeah, just click on the line chart drop down here and select this one, right? Line with markers, right? So this is the chart. This is a beautiful chart, which is available right now. Just, uh, you know, increase the size a little bit more, right? And change the title as a uh, sales, sales percentage trend. Okay, so this is a sales percentage trend. And now uh, let's do the formatting. So first of all, we need to assign the data levels uh, on a sales percentage. So just select this uh, line, right? Sales percentage and just right click on it, uh, on it and add data levels, right? Uh, now uh, click on uh, the data levels, right click, format data levels and you know, go uh, and select the in a format data levels pane, just uh, uh, select the value from cell right and provide uh, assign like provide the range from e2 uh, from e2 to e13 right and now click on ok uh, just uh, untick the value and as well as show leader line okay just go down and you know uh, just select the above right so uh, we have you know successfully assigned uh, the data levels uh, from uh, e, uh, range e2 to e13 right Let's uh, change the formatting line as well as in the markers. So just uh, select this and uh, 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 right and go to uh, format data series here and uh, click on uh, fill in line and uh, select the marker and expand the marker option. Uh, select uh, the built in right and select the circle one. This one, okay. And increase the size as you know uh, five to like six. Go to uh, expand the fill color and. Yeah this solid and you no know, make it uh, select the blue color this one basically right and uh, the border should be no line again uh, go to uh, like on, on top and just click on line and uh, select the solid line basically and you know uh, from color just select the this one the gray 50% uh, action theory this color okay and we just go down and uh, like change the weight from 2.25 to 1.25 right so uh, we have uh, no, make the changes for you know and this one are uh, the sales percentage so let's uh, change the marker color because it's a little bit fade out uh, so solid fill and uh, you know, select this one basically this one right so now it's done right now uh, let's uh, do the formatting for uh, you know max percentage so again uh, just select this right click on it and you know uh, format data levels and just select the format uh, data levels and you know change the format uh, change data level for shape and just select the this one down arrow callouts right okay and go to you know the format data levels uh, pin and click on label option and uh, just uh, remove the show leader line basically and you know and uh, click on above here so label position should be above right go to fill in line in uh, in the same data uh, format data level pin fill in line and just go above and solid fill click on solid fill right 
and uh, check the uh, like select the color as uh, green so let's uh, select this one okay so we have successfully assigned the you know the data levels and change the formatting of that data levels right now uh, let's uh, click on the in this line go to again format data series pane again in this one and click on marker uh, marker and mark expand the marker option select the built-in and increase the size as uh, from five to six and keep uh, type as circle right and then uh, fill with solid fill and you know select the color as green so dark green basically right and now uh, select the border as uh, the marker border as no line right now again go to the top of part select the line and just select the no line because we do not want to show the line for here we will be utilizing this uh, sales percentage line so now we have successfully assigned the data levels as well as change the marker uh, marker uh, color for a, a maximum data points right so max it is this one now uh, select the uh, minimum uh, data series like this one right click on it add data levels select the data right and right click on it change data level shape and just select the up uh, arrow call out right now go to uh, again uh, format data uh, labels just click on label option and you know uh, unt untick the show leader line and make it uh, you know below right so this is uh, below and again uh, click on fill in line and go to top select solid fill and select the color as you know click on more color and standard sorry uh, custom just click on this and assign the lighter one like this one this should be okay so now we have you know uh, successfully you know assign the data level for minimum data points right uh, this particular data points right just uh, make the formatting of line as well as you know markers to select this line go to format data sales pen and you know uh, click on fill in line click on marker marker option built in keep uh, select the circle right and size increase the size as six go down uh, and fill uh, uh, select the solid fill and color as you know the red dark red color right and the border line should be no line okay now again go top uh, in uh, in the format uh, data series pen and just click on line and uh, you know uh, select the no line option right and uh, that's it so we have successfully changed the, all the formatting on our data our reports our, our report is uh, like the chart is ready so what we need to do we need to you know uh, give the uh, update all this table with uh, formula so let's and uh, let's uh, enter uh, rand between function over here now uh, just remove this all this basically okay now let's uh, assign, uh, let's enter the formula for maximum so if uh, this uh, is equal to uh, you know maximum max and uh, give the reference from you know b2 to b13 just freeze it and close the bracket if uh, b2 is equal to maximum of b2 uh, to b13 then uh, the value will be b2 otherwise the value would be you know na just close the uh, formula and you know just uh, uh, control, press control d right same goes for minimum so let's enter the formula if uh, this uh, b2 is equal to minimum of uh, b2 to b13 freeze this and uh, is, if uh, b2 is equal to minimum of you know uh, b2 uh, to uh, b13 then uh, the value would be b2 right otherwise the value would be any okay again uh, select this and control d right now uh, just uh, give the formula over here for data levels so let's enter if or and is number basically uh, is number if c2 is equal to is number or is number again uh, you know for d2 right so if any of the number is uh, you know uh, like uh, any of the value from like c c2 or d2 is number then uh, this should be blank so we are not considering uh, you know uh, 
and if not then we are giving b2 right so okay so this is so let's uh, select this chart make it a little bit lower right and uh, so this is basically our chart is done so if you want to you know uh, make some further modification then you can either uh, remove this you know the axis vertical axis here and make this uh, expand this you can remove the line grid line as well you can uh, make the board uh, like bold uh, font size and as well as this one so this is all about you know uh, the conditional formatting right uh, on basis of that we are just picking our uh, highlighting uh, minimum data points as well as the maximum data points right so let's uh, as we have applied rand between function over here so let's uh, press f9 and see whether it's showing uh, like highlighting the data points correctly or not right so now you can see that you know uh, now we have two data points that is you know 87 percent for august and october so the the sales percentage was you know 87 in both the months and this is the highest sales percentage so that's why it has been it is being highlighted with uh, green color and in jan the 40 percent is the sales percentage right so this is the lowest percentage in uh, from jan to december and that's the reason it is being highlighted with you know the red uh, red color you know so this is all about you know uh, in the highlighting uh, the max and minimum data points in your charts you can utilize this chart and uh, this technique in other graphs as well and it will work perfectly right so i will provide the link of this uh, the file in description box so that you can download the file and you uh, do uh, you can practice and as well as you can utilize the uh, the same chart in your uh, dashboard right so thank you for watching uh, please like share subscribe and comment have a good day bye bye